so now we'll uh, simulate the second section of the experiment number one that is a Hartley oscillator so I just uh, open this uh, experiment so this is the circuit for our uh, Hartley oscillator simulation okay. and our intention is to produce an sinusoidal signal okay, with a frequency of 110 Hertz Okay. and uh, these are the design equations which we are using it in order to design the components of our uh, circuit okay. once again the amplifier circuit uh, design will remain same and just to go ahead with our uh, simulation circuit so this is our simulation circuit so as you can see uh, when compared to your RCP shift oscillator, the uh, amplifier circuit will remain same. The only thing is that the time circuit, uh, the circuit where it stores the energy and uh, oscillations are produced out of the noise, only this circuit needs to be added onto our canvas. Okay, so now we'll uh, open the multi -sim simulation software. I'll double click on the uh, numerator sim simulation software. Okay. The process will be same, only the components will be in case of uh, the Hartley oscillator instead of R and C, I will be using L and C. Okay. Now, once this uh, simulation software is opened, as I know, as I have gone through the circuit diagram, so I know what are all the components required that has to be collected onto my canvas. So, uh, resistors, capacitors, transistor, and a biasing voltage, ground, and oscilloscope, and a frequency counter. So, these are all the, uh, along with L and C. So these are all the components which I do require for my simulation. So I'll go to the place command, place, and I'll click on component. So in this component, so first let me take uh, uh, a simple basic component such as a resistor. So I'll click on resistor, and I'll have a copy of it onto my canvas. And then I'll go to capacitor. I'll take uh, one component of that. And I'll place it on my canvas. I also require an inductor this time, so I'll click on inductor and I'll place it uh, onto the canvas. Okay, then next, after having R, L, and C, now I will uh, go for the next component. Okay, I'll go to a transistor, click on BJT NPN, onto that, I'll click on VC107 and say OK. So I'll get this uh, transistor. Then after having this, so I do require sources. So I'll click on the group, and I'll say that I want uh, sources now. So one is VCC. I'll click on this, and I do require ground. Okay. I'll say okay. So let me have a circuit of this first then I can uh, think of the instruments which are required for simulation so I place my transistor in between so that I can place other components appropriately ok so let me have this resistance R1 here in order to rotate it uh, vertical or place it vertical I will press ctrl R now the component has gone vertical so I will just copy it by pressing ctrl C and I will start placing it as per my requirements Okay, so this is my second resistance R2. So I've got my voltage divider circuit. Then next, this is my RC. Okay, and similarly, I would like to place my RE, okay, which I can also call it as R4. Okay, then next, I need to place my 
bypass capacitor so I'll just copy it I'll place it but I want it vertical so I'll press ctrl R and I'll place it in parallel to the resistance R4 ok mm, so once this circuit is constructed so I need to also place my biasing voltage as well as ground onto the canvas so I'll just place it over here ok now the next step is to just interconnect as per uh, the circuit so I'll be connecting R1 to R3 then R1 to R2 ok further this R2 to R4 ok then I'll be connecting this emitter terminal to R4 then collector terminal of a transistor to R3 ok then further I'll just uh, place this R2 such that it stands in line so that the appearance uh, looks comfortable ok and if I want I can just drag it to a certain extent just to make appearance proper the base terminal of the transistor will be connected to the junction of R1 R2 ok and this is a VCC ok then this is a bypass capacitor ok and then later uh, this has to stand in parallel to R4 and this is a voltage divider circuit which are connected to this terminal now left out is LNC so I'll just connect the other components in the back to back connection ok and I want ground between them to form a proper tank circuit and later I want the, co the component capacitor ok so that I can form this tank I'll just take it a little bit top so that I can have other components ok now I know that this has to go for end to end connection ok then L2 should be connected to L3 and junction has to be connected to the ground so this is what is the connection then I want some uh, capacitor at input and output terminal of my amplifier so which is working like a coupling capacitor so it eliminates the DC component uh, which is present in the signal so that offset available in the signal can be eliminated ok so I can connect this terminal to the input of the transistor and this to the output of the transistor and this has to be connected on this terminal ok over here and this terminal has to be connected here so this is what is the construction of my uh, Hartley oscillator so I need to just fine tune these components as per my design ok so I know that the supply voltage to my circuit is 12 volts so I just double click on this uh, VCC and uh, make it as 12 volts and then later this is 33k and this is 4.7k so double click on this resistance and adjust it to 33k and uh, 4.7k so this is 4.7k and these two resistance RC and RE so this is 3.3k and 470 ohms 3.3k and 470 ohms the bypass capacitor is having a value of uh, 100 microfarad 
so I just uh, double click on this and I set it to 100 micro and with respect to the coupling capacitors each of uh, 10 micro farad. so just double click on this and set it to 10 micro okay now I need to just uh, fine tune my tank circuit so each uh, inductor in my tank circuit is of uh, 100 milli henry and a uh, capacitor of 10 microfarad so this is 100 milli henry so both the uh, inductors and a capacitor of 10 microfarad so now my circuit is uh, ready for simulation just I need to add on the instruments to my circuit so that I can give what's the nature of my output signal so to see what is the output signal or a wave shape of my signal I do require an oscilloscope so I will consider an oscilloscope along with this I will be having a frequency counter so that it measures the value of the frequency of the output signal generated ok now I just connect uh, the out one of the terminal of the oscilloscope to the output terminal of my circuit okay? and I can also connect the frequency counter over here so that it gives me and uh, a figure indicating what's the frequency of the output signal so I need to ground the other terminal of the channel okay so i'll be connecting other terminal to the ground so this is what is my circuit connection okay so now i'll run the simulation by clicking on this uh, run simulation icon so now if i double click on my oscillation you can see over here that a sinusoidal signal is uh, generated uh, and i can if i want to vivid it in terms of uh, higher amplitude I can just adjust uh, volts per uh, division uh, terminal and I can see a pure sinusoid is being generated ok as we know that it is an oscillator which produces an output signal without considering any input to the circuit so internally whatever the noise is there in the uh, energy storing components that is the LNC that is being used in order to produce such sinusoidal oscillations Okay. Now, as we have also discussed in case of RZ phase shift oscillator, in order to measure what's the frequency of this, I can use the probes available here and set it to T2 minus T1 and compute what is a T and to identify the frequency, F is defined as 1 over T. Now, other than that, I can just double click on this uh, frequency counter. Now, it is showing us the frequency of the generated signal is 111.631 hertz ok so if I see what is the frequency with which I wanted it to design or the frequency with which I wanted it to oscillate ok if I see my design then I can just uh, verify it ok so here my intention was I wanted to design a Hartley oscillator with an oscillating frequency of 110 hertz and uh, my signal is almost uh, near to my requirement which is uh, 111.631 hertz okay so this is what is for this particular uh, session thank you